We had a catcher in the Negro National League, Josh Gibson. In my opinion, the best hitting catcher I have ever seen. He was a boyish and he had charisma. He loved to be around him. Opposing players liked him. Pitchers liked him, even though he'd kill a pitcher, you know. Mr. Josh Gibson. But there are those who will say that Josh Gibson was the black babe Ruth. There are others who saw Gibson play who will call Ruth the white Josh Gibson. Mm. Gibson was incredible, Harold. In, in 1936, the great power hitting catcher hit 84 home runs in a single season. Had strings of 75, 71, and 69 in single season. He is still believed to be the only man to ever hit a ball completely out of Yankee Stadium. How about Josh Gibson? Did he really hit a fair ball out of Yankee Stadium? Yes, he did. Uh, uh, Josh was one of those uh, superhuman people like that when come along. It'll all be a thousand years before another man come along like that. He hit one in the polo grounds that they estimated to travel over 600 feet. And as I share with my visitors, his steroids, ham hocks and collard greens. The man, <laughs> the man, as we say, from Georgia was just country strong. He could hit that ball and hit it a long way, but he wasn't just a great power hitter. Josh was a great hitter. Like Ted William and Joe Dimaggio, if you want me to tell you the truth. Lifetime batting average of 354, and in head-to-head -head competition against major leaguers, hit over 420. But what makes it even more remarkable, if you're a fan of the game, he was doing this as a catcher. And as you well know, Josh wasn't a good catcher. He was a great catcher. Rifle arm. He's throwing guys out from the crowd back in that era. So you want to talk about what might he look like? Who might you picture? Just think Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson. as a catcher. Bo on the charge. Bo is there. Yo, on the run that ball. <laughs> Almost separated at birth. Both about six foot, six one. As both would say, 220, neat in the waist. I'm still trying to get neat in the waist, but Josh was neat in the waist. Big, powerful forearms, big, powerful thighs, great eyes. Because he was unlike most power hitters, where most power hitters today, and now over 200 times, they might strike out. Gibson might strike out 25, 30 times in a year. He put the ball in play and put it in play with a lot of power.